Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are playing Space Agency. We are finishing up with the tutorial. We are really close now, only a couple more missions, and then we will begin the regular missions. So today is episode number nine, or tutorial number nine, Power Management. Let us go to our briefing. Tutorial number nine, power management. Our objectives are to dock the resupply module and recharge the resupply module. Our max time is 10 minutes, zero seconds. This tutorial will teach you how to manage electrical power in Space Agency. A resupply module is running low on battery power. Dock with the nearby space station and use its surplus power to recharge the battery contained in the resupply module cargo hold. Alright, so we will go to our training vehicle and we will begin. The battery in our resupply module is running low on power. We're going to dock with a nearby space station and use its solar power to recharge. Dock the resupply module with the space station. Alright, so we are again going to start by rotating into the correct um, direction. And then we will begin to move towards the docking port we're close now and then we can go straight and boom we have docked cool now we need to see what's going on inside the space station open the view selector switch to the power view Ah, uh, the power view the panel at the bottom of the screen shows the power status of the selected vehicle or module you can see how much power the module is unit using, how much it is generating, and how much it is supplying to the other modules. Although we have docked, our battery isn't charging. That is because the module hasn't been hooked up to the space station's power grid. Every docking point has a power switch. Tap the switch to toggle it. So we will tap it, and now it is green, which means we are connected. Excellent! The resupply module is now connected to the station's power grid. The charging light is flashing, and you can see the battery percentage is slowly increasing. It's taking a while, though. It'd charge more quickly if that second solar panel was online. Let's see if we can do something about that. So, we must tap the solar panel to select it. To open a solar panel, you first need to connect it to a power source. It needs some initial power to operate the motors that will open it. Tap the switch to connect the solar panel to the station's power grid. Okay, we have done that. Great! The power button has lit up now, indicating that the power panel the panel has power available. Press the solar power panel press the power button to open the solar panel. And there it is. And voila. Well done. The space station is now operating at full, full power. The resupply module battery will be recharged in no time. So let's switch back. Oh, apparently we're already recharged because it just completed the mission. So that was gold in 2 minutes 30 seconds. Wow. At a cost of $0 million. Wow. All of these training missions are so cheap. It's like they don't cost anything. All right, so next time when we come back, we will learn about refueling, and then only one more to go before we can start the actual missions. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Zira. This is the Nocturnal Gaming Network. Have a wonderful night.